So in today's vlog, I am in Tenerife and I am off to meet a guy who lives out here who has his own YouTube channel called Living With MS in Tenerife. I'll put the description below and he's going to do some magic tricks for me. Let's just hope he doesn't make me disappear. Let's go. Leaving the magic. Okay, so he's picking me up outside the hotel. I think this is him. It's Tim. Here he is. How are you? All right, I'm fine. All right, Thanks. All How's all right? it going? Yeah, good to meet you. Good, good to, to meet you too. I've seen you on the. I've seen you on the YouTube. See me on the YouTube. So where are we off oh, to so today? Well, well, it's up to you. We can either do the beach or we can go to a decky town. A decky town or the beach, somewhere where we can have a, a drink, I think. And both, then both of them are okay. You, you said you're going to do some magic tricks for me, that's I right. will do a couple of magic tricks as well. Excellent, okay, well let's uh, follow the guy, I'll get in and uh, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so Tim's brought me to a decky town, which is uh, really nice. I don't know any history about it, but uh, whereabouts are we? Well, basically, we're right in the centre of the old town, and if you look to our left, you're going to see the um, the town hall of the Ayuntamiento, yeah, and then the church behind us, of course, yeah, and this uh, plaza here, Plaza Europa, I think it's called. Um, that's where they have all the fiestas. Yeah. And also, there's a lot of fiestas here because of the, you know, the religious style. Yeah. But there's also uh, other fiestas that we have. And then this street has got one of the best chicken places on it, which we're going to go and see in a minute. Excellent. And uh, we're going to go and have a drink down the bottom. Brilliant. Oh wow! Just look. Look at this view here. It is absolutely outstanding. If Tim hasn't have invited me out here. I would have never seen this. I would have literally have just seen the beach area, but just take a look at this. We can save you from your this bond is always gonna last. When nothing else makes sense, just What you gonna do? That is one steep drop. Wow. And so is that. Shall we do it? Let's go. Believe in the magic. We're doing it all. The feeling is so. Maybe you got me. Believe in the magic. It's unreal if you stop in in Costa Decky. Come out to a decky town. This is unreal. So whereabouts are we uh, going to go to now then? Well, what we're going to do, we're going to go dip back down the hill the way we drove up, and yeah. then we're going to have a look round there. Then we're going to decide on a bar stop and we'll have a chat. Excellent. Sounds good to me. Okay. I'm ready for a drink. Come Let's on. Go. So we've got Tim's wife here, who is called Chris, and she's originally from Regensburg in Regens Regensburg in Germany. Is that right? Yeah. Did I pronounce that right? And can you, obviously you can speak very good German, maybe you could teach me some when we're uh, um, over a beer, is that all right? Bavarian more like, it's totally different. It's different, is, is it different? Uh, it's it's diff like Geordie's different than English. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so is Yorkshire as well, I better not say that though. All right, come on, then. let's go and have a beer. So Tim tells me that this place does some of the best chicken, is it? Yeah, it's basically Oasis and it does the Canarian chicken. And the Canarian chicken is very famous because it's spicy and garlicky. And then they have it with the Canarian potatoes, which yeah. are like the little potatoes, mm -hmm. salty the, potatoes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously chips if you want, and salad. Oh, and there's nice. no menu, they just say, how many chicken do you want? That's it, <laughs> yeah. no menu. How many chicken? Excellent, what's this place called then? Uh, this place is just past there, it's Oasis. That's um, Oasis. Uh, this one's This L one is... Uh, Menditero. So there's quite a selection the of them. too. Hablamos un poco y después se lo vea y bebemos. Sí, tranquilo. 
So apparently a decade, do you know what, I'm just, I'm just going to let Tim uh, tell you because I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not the expert but from what I've seen there's like two halves to the town. You've got this half which comes up from the post office, goes up to the Ayuntamiento, the town hall, and then if you go over one uh, you've got more of the shops and where people live. And then if you go further you get to Los Olivos and Las Torres which is like the t towns within the town if you like and uh, that's more industrial and where the where the shops are and stuff so this is the old town then there's the newer town and then there's the industrial part so a lot of nice little cafes and uh, bars and restaurants oh, yeah. around so uh, seems like a nice place we'll carry on okay Okay, so I think this is the centre then, is it, that we're in? Basically, this is where the bus is going to drop you off when you come. It's really, really nice. Uh, we've, we've left, incidentally, we've left uh, Chris back up there because um, it's a bit difficult with the wheelchair in Tenerife, isn't it? And um, Chris has MS and um, Tim does a Facebook page, which I'll put the link below, and also a YouTube channel, again, the link below, uh, on uh, living with MS in Tenerife. Um, does it... it is it very wheelchair friendly in certain places or? In 2012, when we first came, it was basically just the coastal area for the tourists. Yeah. But they've been do they've been very, very good. And yeah. we're actually in touch with the council here. Yeah. And they ask us, you know, what do you need next? Right. So they've so actually they just done our village totally wheelchair friendly. Oh, but so they so are listening. They are listening and it's very, mm. very good. I can't fault them whatsoever. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, well, let's uh, carry on and uh, see what else is in store. We'll stop. To have a look at. Okay. Maybe you got me. Believe in the magic. We're doing it all. The feeling is so. Maybe you got me. Believe in the magic. So right behind me here and again i'm gonna let tim say it because i don't really know so. <laughs> i think it's actually called rock del condi so i think it's the condors rock and uh, we're actually in this park here which is uh, right next to the health center over there that's the health center yeah over there the here does the um it's where you go if you've got problems with a shop or something you want to complain like uh, citizens advice bureau or yeah, so yeah. that's that one there, yeah? yeah? Yeah, And who's this guy on here? Just spotted here, look. I don't know who he is. Pedro Gonzalez. Is that Z Zarolo or somebody? This is the memorial of Pedro J. Gonzalez Cerolo, or Pedro Cerolo. And he was born in 1960, same, same as me. And he died in, nine, in 2015. There we go, this is a nice little park. He was fighting for equality for everybody. Ah. So there we go. Excellent. Okay, so you're going to show us some magic tricks in a bit, is that right? Yeah, I've got it up uh, with Chris, and then we'll go and stop and have a drink, and then I'll do some uh, close up magic for you. Excellent. How long have you been doing the magic for then? I've been professional since 2008, but I've been doing it since I was a kid. Oh, nice. Do you uh, do it as a professional out here then? Is it, do you, do you yeah, a... I was self employed up until last year when I had to give up uh, full time. Uh, to look after the Christina full yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, but I still go out on the street and do a little bit of magic to keep my hand in. Excellent. And uh, if somebody wants to pop a, pop a fiver in the hat, that's fine by me. <laughs> Excellent. Don't tell the tax man. <laughs> not, a, not a chance. Believe in the magic. Cheers, we're back. We're back. Oh. You're taking advantage of the sun. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. That's did you nice. Get that? I did get that. How really nice did. is that? There we go. Oh. I'm going to get right. my breath now. Okay. I'm spitting feathers. Yes, yeah, so am I. Let's go and have a drink. <laughs> I'm not arguing with that. Doing it all, the feeling is so 
Baby, you got me. These are nice little restaurants and little cafes, I have to say. Very, very nice. Totally different to the, obviously the tourist area back there. You definitely should come and have a look. So if you come here on holiday and obviously you haven't got somebody to pick you up, how would they get here if they haven't got a car? Get the 473 or the 477 from Los Cristianos or Las Americas or Fania Bay yeah. and get off in Adeje El Circo, the circle. Okay. Walk uphill and you're here. There we go. Definitely worth a visit, definitely worth a visit. And I bet the prices are better here than on the uh, on the front there because... If you're looking for a pipe for 99 cents, you won't get it here. Okay. Because that's they drag you in for that. Yeah. So, but the prices of food and stuff is a lot cheaper here. And probably better. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we are going just here. El Meditero. Mentidero. 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 Mentir. Mentir. Yo mentió. Es un es un local bueno. Bueno. Oh, and is this the owner? Yes. Okay, so you got to come bueno, and see this. Bueno. You got to come and see this guy, uh, El Mentidero. ¿Cómo te llamas? <laughs> Charlie boy. Charlie boy. <laughs> Charlie boy. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so Tim is actually a professional magician and uh, as I mentioned, he's going to do some magic tricks at the start of the vlog. So we're going to do uh, a few magic tricks and you're not going to make me disappear, are you, or anything like no, that? No, we'll make you invisible. Make me invisible, which could come in handy sometimes, actually, when I'm trying to hide. So we're going to uh, have a look at the magic tricks. Let's take a look. Okay. So basically, I go out in the afternoon and bring joy to the people of Tenerife. This is Nino. Nino is a little sod, isn't he? Because what he does, he reads people's minds. How does he do it? He takes his picture cards. All different. Not in any particular order. And says, pick one. Okay. Anyone you want? Anyone you want? Yeah. And don't show it to you. No. Okay. He's not looking. Okay. He's not. I'm not looking either. He's cheating though. Okay. He's gonna read your mind. You know? You wanna marry him? <laughs> you wanna get engaged to him? Oh, he's got a ring. He got a ring. <laughs> wow. Believe in the magic. We're doing it all. The feeling is so. Maybe you got me. Believe in the magic. Maybe you got me. So apparently this is a really nice place. It's a hotel and restaurant and... Uh... We don't go in there because it's not really wheelchair friendly, but if you don't have any problem with mobility, then this is a great place to come. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm walking through here. Probably trespassing. Wow. Hola. You okay? So, uh, so she, she didn't really know what to make of it, but so obviously I was trespassing there. But there we go. But it's a good advertisement. <laughs> Tell him you saw it on YouTube. If you stay there. It's the same place and I'm trespassing again, but I'm just having a quick look. There we go. 
What do I do for a living? Uh, I trespass. It's uh, vegetable soup. Then you either got the breast of chicken, uh, a chierney, which is uh, fish uh, grilled, or a ch uh, pork chop. And you get a dessert as well for 8.50. 8.50? Yep. Cheap. Okay, so that was a decky town. What a really, really, really nice place. We're gonna get back into the car now and just have a little drive to drop me back to my hotel. And uh, we'll do a little outro. Apparently there's a nice little background and some nice scenery. So uh, back in the car. Now we're too close to the mountain so you can't see the volcano from here. Okay. Which I thought you might be able to be, you can't. It's, it's basically stuck behind those hills. Okay, and the guy in the middle of the roundabout there. A gaunch, so he's actually one of the uh, natives of the island. Yeah. Yeah, the first people to come, they were the natives, the gaunch people. The gaunch? Gaunch, sort of African, Spanish, South American maybe, we don't know where they came from. Okay. Excellent. All right, we're going to do the, uh, the little outro down here. Uh -huh. Look at that. So there is that's all Las Cristianas. Well, basically, if you look at the the uh, red building there, yeah, that is La Caleta, basically. That's the Sheraton La Caleta. Yeah. And that's the end of the maritime walkway. Okay. To the right of that is the fishing village of La Caleta with the new uh, Coral Suites um, hotels. Yeah. All five star. You've got the Ryu next to that and then it starts all the way down. Uh, you've got the Del Duque, which is a very, very select part of uh, a decky coastline. Yeah. Like six star, basically. And then as you get further down, you get more back into the older areas where it's sort of like three star, four star, but with some five star hotels dotted around. Yeah. Right at the end there, uh, you'll see Puerto Colón, which is the port of Colón, yeah, where Columbus was said to set, set sail. Oh, right. That's Colón is Columbus's port, Puerto Colón. Yeah. Not Colón, as they... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got Las Americas, which is the, the big white buildings. And then on the corner there, going round, that's the, uh, the end of Las Americas and the beginning of Los Cristianos. Yeah. So you've got the Safari Center and all the big, sort of, the, the Golden Mile and all that. Okay. So what a view. That's crazy. Isn't it? What's all this down here? Is there a river or something? Or this is what we call a barranco, and when it does rain, it rains in the mountains. It doesn't rain on the coast. We have these microclimates, and when it rains in the mountains, this brings the water down. And we're not allowed to build in these. So these are, are for water runoff uh, for the whole island. And also, if the volcano ever does erupt, that's where the lava is going to go as well. <laughs> it's going to go there. Well, this is where it went. So. Ah, right. Oh, so that's where the lava went then? Yeah. Okay, so Tim's just pointed out to me, right down here is a banana plantation. Just take a look. Just there. Okay, so that was Tenerife, and boy, is it magic. And this is Tim. Chris is in the car. And uh, I've got to say, that was absolutely fantastic. The magic was brilliant. Thank you. And also, it was lovely meeting you and to show me around this uh, amazing island because Otherwise, I would have just been stuck uh, in the swimming pool in the hotel. So, uh, which is also good. It is. But it it's is. It's nice to get out and about. It's nice to get out and about, and you should come and see uh, a, a decky town. And uh, what you need to do is also subscribe to this guy's channel, which I'll put the link below. Check out his Facebook pages and other social media, and uh, give him a thumbs up and, uh, and follow him. And uh, and until next time, remember like, subscribe, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>